take the wonderful fun opportunity of going in and cutting my front bottom bracket off of the trike so that I can try and get it back out to proper length. All right, everything on the velo is marked. It is time for the front of that to come on. The power, the absolute power. <laughs> Well, the job is basically done. Man, I can't even tell you how painful that was. Next thing to do is to take this bottom bracket that's just barely hanging on by a thread now and weld it onto a bracket that I'm gonna build around all this. It's showtime. And just like that, we go from little bitty teeny tiny to super huge. My puppy came to say hi. Say hi to everybody, Petey. <laughs> That's my boy. And there's my girl. Hey, Sadie Doo. Well, okay, now that the first part has been done, next thing that I need to do is go in and it, this is going to be where I weld the bottom bracket back onto. Funny thing about it is it needs to be wider than it currently is so that it can fit around the other piece of steel and they're exactly the same size. So if you look very closely, here you go, you can see the line that I'm going to cut it at. To be able to cut it at that line, I'm going to need to weld it onto another piece of pipe that I have already attached to my welder. So I'm going to weld all this stuff together. That should hopefully allow me to cut these apart and then I can start to build the bracket. And a couple spot welds later, and you can tell that this thing is pretty solid. I had to put two on the top just to kind of hold it all together. And then I put one down here on the bottom. You can see how if you look real closely, the bottom just kind of drifted away a little bit. Okay, and here's the method to my madness, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give everything a place so that when this, come forward and basically locks in, then my blade can come down and I can get it exactly on the line that I want to cut and I'm not trying to hold some little bitty teeny tiny piece like this up underneath that super dangerous saw blade. So I've upended the piece again. I cut it that way so that uh, we can widen the bracket this way to fit around the rectangular piece of pipe. And now I've gone in and I've mounted it in a vise like this and I just cut a slot in it this way so that now I can widen it this way as well. So we're gonna make it taller and we're gonna make it wider so it'll fit around the pipe. Okay, I just got this piece of metal cut out and it is a little bitty teeny tiny piece that is about a quarter of an inch long. It's gonna go right in there like that. And then I've got my other piece here. It's gonna go right here. And as they all fit together and I weld them across, it just makes that bracket a quarter of an inch wider so it'll fit around the other piece. Well, that's pretty exciting. I got all of that welded and then I popped it off the piece of metal. It was so simple I barely even just gave it any kind of force that just fell off and then from there the thing is still hot because I just got done welding it. I flipped it over and started to weld all the little pieces over here as well and then guess what I ran out of welding wire. <laughs> well after an absolute busy day in the shop this is what it looks like when you get to do no more work. You open this thing up, and that little guy right there has absolutely no wire left on it whatsoever at all. So it looks like I get to go back up to Home Depot and try and get me some more wire so that I will be have the opportunity to actually do some work again. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs>